The Lewisham East by-election campaign is in full swing and I've caught the Liberal Democrats telling lies. There's going to be a by-election on June the 14th in Lewisham East and that's uh, to replace Heidi Alexander, the former Labour MP, who's gone off to work with Sadiq Khan in City Hall. And there's 14 candidates, the Liberal Democrats have Lucy Salek, and I've caught them telling some lies. Now, it's not the first time they've ever done this, so I, I want to walk through some examples of, of this. But in the meantime, let's look at this tweet here. I uh, caught the sun today delivering a few hundred of these for Lucy Salek. And I looked at the leaflet and I thought, that looks like a magazine. Lewisham Living, it's called. Brexit, crime, education. Does that not look like a magazine? Now, let's look on the front. No imprint. No logo. Now, I'm sure there's an imprint somewhere on there, but let's just looking at the front of this. No logo, no mention of the Liberal Democrats, nothing. What it does say at the bottom is exclusive interview, Lucy Salek, the woman tipped to be our next MP. Okay, tipped to be the next MP. By who? By who? Liberal Democrats, I would like to know the answer to this. No bookmakers, no politician, no major journalist, in fact probably no journalist, I've not seen a single one of them, has predicted that the Liberal Democrats will win this seat or can win this seat. So when they publish material that's deliberately misleading, it's a, it's a magazine. That's not a campaign leaflet, that is a magazine. And when they tip, uh, they, they say, a woman tipped to be our next MP, what are they doing? They're trying to tell the voters, oh, well, this woman's going to be our MP, so it makes people feel more confident in going out voting for the Liberal Democrats. Okay, it's a tactic, I get it, but that is wrong. And also, it's not just wrong, it's a lie. The woman tipped to be our next MP, by who? Who said this? Um, there's no clear indication it's election material. I want to know, is this allowed? Is this allowed within the Electoral Commission rules? Now, I've had a look at the rules, and of course you have to have an election imprint on there, but it does say in the rules as well that if you have a party logo that uh, is recognisable enough that could replace the imprint, then it's fine, just use the logo. Uh, I've got no idea. There's no logo on the front. There's nothing. So that really bugged me. But here's another one. Um, let's have a look at this uh, Twitter. Uh, Lewisham Lib Dems, an action-packed weekend for Lewisham Lib Dems and Lucy Salek in Lewisham East. Thank you to all our amazing volunteers, yada, yada, yada. Now, on this one, it says, and again, this is another leaflet that looks like a newspaper. Notice a theme here. It says at the top, it's Lib Dems or Labour in Lewisham. See page three, Lu free Lewisham news. Again, not a single logo on this thing. And this one isn't so much about lying. The lie is at the top when they say the woman tipped to be the next MP. She's not. The, this one is just a bit of a push. Um, they say it's Liberal Democrats or Labour. Now, you've got to be really sort of generous with the statistics here to say that that's the case. The last time the Lib Dems came second was eight years ago. That was three elections ago in 2010. Um, they came second, but they only marginally beat the Tories by a couple of thousand votes and they were still 6,000 votes behind Labour. But in the last two elections, they've come fourth and third with just over 2,000 votes each. So when they release this material, which has no identifiable Liberal Democrat logo on the front, and let's be honest, most of the people who get this through <laughs> in the post will probably read the front, new, uh, the front page and bin it. Um, so all they're gonna see is a local newspaper reporting that it's Lib Dems or Labour in Lewisham, and they might well believe that. And the reason they're doing this, we know why they're doing this, is because it makes people feel more confident when they vote Lib Dems. And the, the fact that around 65% 60, uh, roughly that uh, voted Remain in Lewisham East, they want people to go out and vote Lib Dem because Lib Dem is the only party that is fervently saying, yes, we want a second referendum or we just don't want Brexit. The Labour Party is kind of iffy on it. Although the Labour candidate, Janet Dabby, wants us to stay in the customs union and the single market. So, again, when they say this is Liberal Democrats or Labour, come on. It, it's, it's a push. It's a push. And it's, it's misleading. But then there's also other stuff here. Like, you've probably seen the Liberal Democrats signs that people put outside their houses. You know, the, the diamond-shaped ones. Uh, again, on this same tweet, Lucy say, look, Liberal Democrats winning here. Liberal Democrats winning here. In Lewisham East, 
Really? Liberal Democrats winning here? More misleading information, more misleading claims. This seat has been around for 100 years now. It appears to have been created, the constituency, in 1918. And in that 100 years, the Liberal Democrats have never even won one. The Liberal Democrats or the Liberals have never won a single seat. They've never won it once in Lewisham East. And yet they, they just brazenly have these signs saying, uh, Liberal Democrats winning here. Not true. OK, well, what about the councils, Jack? OK, let's look at the council results. Every single councillor in Lewisham East is Labour. For the last 26 years, they've had a Labour MP. When have the Liberal Democrats won here? How are they winning here? This is misleading information. And it's not the... This isn't the first time the Liberal Democrats have done this. They've counted on this kind of election material for years. Um, long history. Let's look at this leaflet from Islington South. Um, again, it's Islington and Finsbury News. Actually, this is another example here. Look at the front of this leaflet. No Lib Dem logo. And then they've got this laughable bar chart at the top where Labour 12,345, Lib Dem 11,861, and then Conservatives, which have got just under half, roughly, of what Lib Dem have. And the Conservative bar on this bar chart is like, what, 10% of the size of the Lib Dem? <laughs> like, it's, it's funny, but it's also worrying. I mean, they say, can't win in Islington. Well, who says? Who says? It's down to the voters who wins. Uh, just 484 votes separate Bridget Fox and Gordon Brown's Labour MP. No other result is possible. It's... It's amazing, right? Look at an another one for Islington North. Just, I want to I prove my point here that this has been going on for years. Another one. Conservatives, 3,740. Lib Dems, 9,402. And again, the Conservative bar is tiny. Then let's look in Glasgow North. Another hilarious example. Uh, right at the bottom. Um, this actually seems to be a letter from the candidate. So, but again, no Lib Dem logo. They really do seem ashamed of their logo. I'm not surprised, it's hideous, isn't it? Uh, look at this one, it's a two horse race. Labour 39%, Lib Dem 27%, SNP 13, Conservative 9. I mean, oh, have they ever gone to a basic maths class? Even I remember this from my old maths class in high school about uh, misleading bar charts and graphs. I mean, it's disgraceful. I don't think they should get away with this. If the Electoral Commission is there to protect the integrity of elections and campaigns, then the Electoral Commission should be doing their job. Fix it. I think the Electoral Commission should have a say about this. The Electoral Commission should be doing something to stop this. If their job is to remain, uh, maintain the integrity of elections, they should be doing something. <laughs> The Liberal Democrats sum up the reason why people hate politicians. They show no interest in the causes that people care about. They only care about getting votes, getting their people back into their cushy jobs in Westminster. And if that means lying on election materials, by gosh, they're going to do it. In Lewisham East, the Liberal Democrats are purposely misleading voters. They are the reason why people hate politicians. And I think it's about time the Electoral Commission did something about it. Don't you? If you like that and want to see more, remember to like and subscribe and download the new Rebel app from the Apple App Store and the Google Play Store.